What's up everybody, welcome back to the On The Guy Show. We're back with another video. Before we get started, I wanna thank every single one of you because we have reached 150,000 subscribers. It's a big achievement for all of us. I mean, it's been, it's all the hard work. It's nonstop. We work 24 seven, it's nonstop. We got our plaque right here for the 100,000. 100,000 might not mean a lot to you guys, but it means a lot to us because we did it in what, a year? Yeah, we, uh, we pretty much did it like in a year and a half. A year and a half, and that's with no help. We didn't, you know, partner up with anybody. We just did it raw by ourselves, by giving you guys good content. We're right here at the shop. We're watching some Hoonigan videos. I think that we actually have a chance to compete with these guys. So they usually raise the Mustang Hoonigan, the one that do the tricks and all the drifting and stuff. They usually raise badass cars. Donk Master has been on the show along with other badass cars. Right now they're watching. They got an all wheel drive Audi that is pretty quick. So I would like to go to the, to compete with that, with that car. That's the car. That's the car right there. So. We need a little bit of help. So we need y'all guys to help us tag the Hoonigans. We were testing out because we're getting ready for a no prep event coming up. And we raced the Mustang. It was a fun run. You actually have the same tuner, Flaco tuned the crawfish truck. Flaco was tuning that Mustang. So we were out testing, getting ready for that week because that Mustang is competing that weekend. We decided to do a little friendly run uh, to see where we stand. Now, that car is really, really, really fast. We tried out a brand new street with no tires, no prep, nothing on the ground. That helped us a little bit. That gave us a little bit of advantage. That's why, that's how we got the win. We put out like what, a truck and a half? Yeah, yeah. pretty much a truck and a half. I'll put the video right here real quick so you can see it again. Yeah, so we put a truck and a half. Like I said, we're gonna hopefully, I mean, that car's gonna be there this week and coming up that we, the, the race that we got coming up. So we might be racing again. They do wanna race again. So we might get our ass handed to us uh, this week and coming up, you know, by a Mustang. But it's all fun and games. We always just trying to, you know, have a good time. Right now, I wanna compete with those guys. I need to attack the Hoonigans so y'all can make it happen. So we can go out there and race these guys. Wow, we got the crew. We're not the whole crew. We got we got a little bit of half of the, the crew outside. We're working on another four by four build that we got. So I'm gonna show you that because we are doing front suspension on it. We're doing a twin turbo. We're putting a big motor, cover, uh, fiberglass doors. We did a fiberglass tailgate. We did a fiberglass bumper. We're doing a full roll cage, ladder bars. Holly system, badass shocks. I mean, we're doing a little bit of everything. What, else, what am I missing? Weight reduction like a motherfucker. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot lighter than crawfish. But that being said, I'm gonna show you guys that truck. But first, I'm gonna show you the new, the new sticker that we got coming out, which is this one. So it's kind of like a little Takashi team to it. I don't know what y'all guys think. I mean, it's colorful, you know? Some people might like it. Some people might, I won't like it. I don't know, comment down below. Let me know if you want me to drop this sticker so we can post them up for sale now. We also, Got the get paid sticker. This is the sticker that's in front of the crawfish truck. Have y'all seen? We usually run it without a bumper, but when we go out to events, we do put the bumper and it has a sticker right here. So if y'all like the sticker, comment down below. Let me know if y'all like it. We can make, maybe not this big, but we can make smaller sizes like this one. We can put them on the website. Maybe you can win a, a, one of our giveaways. You know what I'm saying? I apologize to the perrillo. You know, I was, I was fucking with this guy. I will keep him right here. He's being a bad boy, so he's gonna stay right there. So let's go outside, let's go check out the truck. We got the Holly truck back. On the last video, we actually broke the rear end on it. We've been breaking rear ends, what, three times in a row, bro? Yeah, it hasn't made a solid pass in three test passes. So this truck consists of a 10 bolt rear end. We do have a special kit that they provide so it can help us not break the axles. But we've been breaking the rear end. We broke the rear end the first time. The second time, I believe we broke the rear end again and it shifted the whole rear end up and we broke the drive shaft and then we fucked up the transmission. We got that fixed. I was like, I'm gonna give him one more try. We went to the track this weekend when Perrillo and Tiny, when, when that went down, we tried it again and we actually didn't break none of that. My boy Tito had welded the rear end. That was good. The drive shaft was good. Tiny was good, but the gears inside broke. I think the truck's too heavy for it. So we are gonna put in a nine inch. So I got that order on board that Pasadena. So we're just waiting on that. But for now, we put new gears. We brought it back to the shop. We're gonna get it ready. We are doing suspension work, just like this one, on the Brownie, on Frank's truck. We're also putting a different transmission because the one he had 
messed up. Man, it lasted what a year? Yeah, that race, I mean, that tranny lasted about a year, about the whole season. The so whole about season. 10, so, 20 passes on it. Ah, uh, probably more. Probably more. Probably more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it lasted for a good whole year. We are doing upgrading the transmission. We are putting a, a suspension all the way around. Yeah. Mono leaves in the back, cow tracks, whatever has cow tracks. But we are putting a spike kit and we are putting a Hollis system on the brown. By that being said, we're getting it ready because we are going to be doing some road runs. Holly truck versus the brownie. So I hope y'all ready. We're going to have to do some like some high rolls, bro. So who has the advantage? Technically, this truck's a 427. Yeah, this, this, one, has a bigger, this one has a bigger motor. This one has a 427 dark block. It's a twin turbo, 76 uh, precision turbos uh it has a whole holly system it has a suspension uh, it has 315s in the back and it's fixing to have a nine inch rear end frank's truck is uh, a little bit more stock of a truck uh, it's a little bit more of a sleeper truck that one still has ac that one consists of a 408 dark block as well same block as this one but this one's a little bit bigger frank has a single turbo it's a bigger turbo right it's a yeah. 91 91 millimeter turbo 91 millimeter full turbo. interior truck full interior this one's not full interior this one has kirky seats have y'all seen on the past videos we bought this truck from it's just a six if y'all go past our videos y'all can see we make the purchase of this truck my boy hit me up he's like hey bro i got a perfect truck for you guys i'm trying to get rid of my truck because i'm gonna buy a ford that's when he bought the super snake so we got this truck 408 nitrous truck we took off the motor and we decided to go turbo the only thing that we did keep is the holly system he was sponsored by holly so this truck has the best holly system that, it, that they provide that's why this truck came with the holly sticker and we just decided to call it the holly truck this one has kirky seats bigger motor twin turbo 315 nine inch frank has a 14 bolt like i said 408 single bit tur big turbo he's fixing to have the suspension mono leaves just like this one and he's fixing to have the holly system yes and i'm on 275s you're on 350s yes and we we both got you know uh bogarts all the way around this one has a few cell in the back does yeah. yours too no mine's a stock fuel. still 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 yeah. like i said frank truck is a totally sleeper we put stock 17s on that motherfucker and it's i mean you nobody wouldn't even would tell know. Yeah. know the only thing that it that does it's when we turn it on it's a little loud because the exhaust is it's dumped, it's dumped right here by the by the engine so if we put a, a full we'll exhaust on that truck, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, well, you wouldn't know, you know, yeah. you probably think it was just a cab truck. Y'all stay tuned for that. We got that race coming up, but like I said, we're doing some upgrades on Frank's truck. Once that's ready to go, we're going to go to Mexico and do some runs over there. We're going to have to probably do what, like 40, 50 rows, 60 oh, rows? No, we're going to have to do 60, 70. When you race Gavin. When I race Gavin, I, we did a 50 roll and I was spinning the whole way until and, 100. And then you catched up at yeah, what? I caught up at a 130, 140. 130, that's when you passed him up. Yeah. So he, we're going to put that video right now so y'all can check it out. Boom. So, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. I think it's just gonna be a spin fest, bro. Yeah, We're gonna have to turn both trucks down to the minimum so they won't spin and they can take off. I mean, these trucks don't need a lot of power once they're on the street because this one on wastegate without even a, a CO2 tank is blowing the tires. Yeah. So you can only imagine with the tank, you know, at full speed. So y'all stay tuned for that. Let me show you guys the four x four build that we got. This is another four x four build. This is not little Uzi, little Uzi's right there. This is not Little Uzi, this is not Crawfish, this is a brand new build. We got another brand new 4x4 build that we're building. Like I said earlier, this truck is gonna be super, super, super light. It's gonna have a big motor, twin turbo, like I said, Holly system, front suspension, rear suspension, fiberglass. Not the whole truck is gonna be fiberglass, but most of the parts on this truck is gonna be fiberglass. Kind of like the Crawfish, but we, do, we did gut it out this one a little bit more. So, y'all stay tuned for this one. I think right now we're putting control arms, open over control arms, along with some biking shocks in the back. Like I said, this truck is fully stripped. We actually did cut the back right here. We are doing a road cage on this truck. So my boy Tio is gonna be doing all the work, all the, the fab work, he's gonna be doing it. This truck is gonna go to Skinny Man, where the moon shines at, and he's gonna be doing a road cage system on this truck. My boy Tito did the tailgate. Tito, what you fabricated back here, bro, to make this work? We built the brackets to, to put all the fiberglass, back bumper, and we're fixing to build a wing with the carbon fiber. And right now we're working on the front suspension. Okay, we're doing a full bed cover in the back. Carbon yeah, full fiber. Bed cover, because it's gonna be alcohol, so we don't need nothing back here. Okay. No battery, no nothing. So it's gonna be kind of like crawfish, but crawfish, we got the little 
you know, the little, yeah. not the sliding thing, but yeah, the, but it flaps. It flaps. On this one, everything's gonna be in the front. The crawfish has a battery in the back. It has the ice tank in the back. This one is gonna be completely just shut down. We're gonna be, be using two pieces of carbon fiber. The first one goes to like halfway, and then the other one is gonna go with the wing, kind of like uh, another truck that Skinny Man had built. Uh, but my boy Tito did the fabrication for this one. It's just simple stuff. My boy fabricates stuff for a living, so this is just like a walk in the park. You know, it ain't, it ain't nothing to it. This bumper is actually also fiberglass. He did some, uh, well, you can't really see them. Everything's hitting. So once we wrap this truck, is this, good? this truck is gonna be wrapped. Once we wrap this truck, you're not even gonna tell. We're doing a ladder bar setup along with the Fab 9 rear end. We got Bogarts. Bogarts all the way around? Yeah, 12s. The back. 12s. This truck is pretty much ready. It's pretty much ready. We'll probably be done with this truck probably like, man, we're trying to get it for truck nationals, which is January, January 22nd. Y'all don't wanna miss out. We're gonna have a lot of badass racing. We're gonna try to finish it by then, but it's looking tight. We're only, what, three, four weeks away? Yeah. This truck's probably not gonna make it. Fool, it'll probably be there. We don't finish it, we'll probably just, just take the roller so we don't yeah, yeah. scared. It'll, it'll be there, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, don't be, don't be scared. It's not gonna be ready, but it's still gonna be there. It's not gonna be race ready, but it's still gonna be there. See, I got guys, if y'all coming down to the show, if y'all wanna check out the rides, on the guys' rides, y'all make sure to pull up to the booth. We're gonna have this one, Crawfish, uh, Holly Truck, the Crackhead, Little Uzi, Brownie. Uh, we'll take the, the Turbo GMC that's outside. Badass racing coming up. I got a lot of homeboys from Cali that are coming down too. So y'all don't wanna miss out on that. But yeah, for the 4x4 build, we don't have a name for this one yet. Comment down below. If y'all want me to bring out that badass Takashi sticker on the guest, Takashi style sticker, comment down below if you want that get paid sticker and comment down below a new name for this truck because we don't have a name for this truck. This truck is not gonna stay black, which is, we primered it because we are gonna be wrapping it, but we do need a badass thing. But yeah, my boys out here working, getting shit done. Like I said, we don't never stop. This is a 24 seven. Gotta check out the suspension. Victor from Wicked Fab. Wicked Fab. Shout out to him. So this one, yeah. we don't okay. have upper and lower control arms on crawfish. We just have a Viking shock. This one's gonna have a coilover, right? Mm -hmm. But for right now, you use we're just using that to mock up along with the uh, aluminum spindle. When you do this, this setup right here, you eliminate all the front stock suspension that is really, really heavy. So we're losing about 100, 150 pounds. 200. 200 pounds. So I mean, in the racing world, 200 pounds is a lot of pounds. With that being said, with this taking off 200 pounds, taking off the doors, we got a front bumper that is fiberglass. We got a hood fiberglass. All legs and windows all the way around. Uh, just one seat is gonna be super light. Not as light as the race cars, but it's gonna be lighter than the crawfish. Not enough to whoop that ass. Enough to fuck a motherfucker up like Skinny Man said. But yeah, that's it. We got the bumper over here. This is the bumper for the brand new 4x4 build. Kind of like the crawfish, the crawfish has the SS bumper. We didn't want to do another SS bumper because we got a couple SS on the fleet. So we wanted to change it up and we got this car, uh, this fiberglass bumper. Uh, once we do the color matching or the, the wrap, y'all guys gonna be able to see a little bit more. It's gonna look, look a little bit more original. A lot of people use this bumper, but you can't even tell because once they do the color matching, they leave this black, they do this in, in color, whatever the color truck is, and it looks original. But once you pay attention to it, you can tell it's, like one way you can tell is actually when they stage up it starts shaking oh, yeah, yeah. the whenever front bumper shakes whenever you do the two-step it actually if it's not mounted right it's gonna shake along with the lights along with everything else that that is fiberglass that is the only way to go fast well not the only way but it's one way to go faster along with the good motor good turbos good transmission we're gonna have a roster transmission three speed kind of like the crawfish has like i said man we're getting ready we're getting race ready we're gonna start off 2022 with the bang like i said we're going on the first we're gonna go race out of town we're gonna take crawfish we're gonna start with the bang this year we got a lot of racing coming up so yeah stay tuned for that it's, it's gonna be fun it's already kind of fun building these trucks so whenever it's time to show out it's gonna be a lot of fun but like i said when when it comes to racing there's you know, stuff is gonna break, especially if you, I'm the type of guy that li I like to turn my shit up. You know, we gotta turn it up and I, we wanna go faster and faster and faster. That's why we break stuff. I can build a truck and leave it inside my warehouse and never break it. You know what I'm saying? And then don't test it, don't do nothing. Just say that I have, I don't know, a thousand horsepower and just claim it's there and blah, blah. But at the end of the day, we like to put big motors. We like to do turbos. We like to go to a track and we like to beat them up. And when we beat them up, 
that's how you break them. But shit that's part. Happens, yeah. It shit happens, you know. But it's part of racing. Uh, if you barely get into this racing stuff, y'all need to get ready, man, because you're gonna be breaking stuff. No matter how good the part is, no matter how good the mechanic is, stuff is gonna break, especially if you turn it up or if you abuse it. Like I said, I'm one of those guys that like to turn shit up and want to go fast. My boy Frank is the same way. Roy, Adrian, whoa, well, Adrian is a little bit more concerted, but that's his job. His job is to like, hold on. He stops you for a little bit, and then he tells you the situation. But it comes one way, it comes out the other one. Turn it up. And yeah, that's he's like, he's a little bit more responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Which is why I turn it up and and break. And if it breaks, it breaks. And you know, put a new either whatever rear end, transmission. Motor, whatever, yes, that, that's just the way racing is. So go. we hit 150,000 subscribers. So what does uh -huh. that mean? That means that we are gonna give away a 2020, not this one, uh -oh. but this one right here. You guys wanted it. Here it is, 2020 Duramax 2500 Z71 4x4 truck, diesel. Perfect. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Right now, it looks stock. It's, it's just completely stock truck. The only thing that this truck does have is a sound system done by my boy at Audio Shop in the Valley. We are gonna be putting 26 by 14 American Force. We are gonna be doing a lift kit on this truck. We're gonna put in rock lights, steps, we're probably gonna delete it as well. We're gonna delete it. We've been trying to delete these trucks, but we haven't done them. But I think it's time now to delete them so they can be a lot faster for whoever wins the truck, can tow a big ass trailer or a two car hauler or enclosed or whatever. But yeah, 2020 Z71 2500 Chevy Silverado truck. Does it get better than this? This truck is fully loaded, leather down. I mean, this truck and my Denali is the same thing. That one's just a GMC. This is Chevy. Like I said, thank you guys once again for liking, subscribing, hitting that bell notification. Without you guys, we would not be here. But thank you for all the support. I hope y'all keep liking the content that we got coming up. And I hope you like the giveaway. This giveaway that we got right now, right now, it starts. Anything that you purchase, every $10 you spend will get you one entry to this badass Duramax truck. Now, we don't have an ending date because when we usually do an ending date, like a, like a deadline, we always have trouble finishing the trucks on time. Once we get the parts in, because the whole COVID situation, everything's backed up. Parts are backed up, wheels, tires, suspension, everything's backed up. Right now, we're gonna order everything. We're gonna order the wheels. We're gonna order tires, 26 by 14, 37, suspension. We're gonna order all that. Once we get the parts and we start installing everything on the truck, we're gonna give you guys a, a deadline. It ain't gonna be more than two, three months. Everything you shop online right now, every $10 you spend is one entry. Shop on the gas.com. And uh, somebody's gonna be taking this badass truck home. Not like this though. No, no, yeah, it's gonna be decked out. No. Yeah, everything. And either we wanna keep it black, color match the whole thing, you know, color match the plastics, the handles, you know what I'm saying, the mirrors, the front end, the grill, the bumper, kind of like the Denali. Or you guys wanna wrap. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know because this truck is gonna be one of y'all. So y'all let me know what y'all want me to do to this truck so I can start working and start ordering parts. And if you guys want this thing wrapped, we can wrap it. If you want it black, we'll keep it black. I'm thinking like a badass wrap, bro. Like something crazy, like something like a matte blue, matte, matte red or, or something like a, or like a chrome color. I don't know. Y'all gotta give me ideas. I have a lot of ideas on my head. Since this truck is gonna be y'all, so y'all let me know what y'all want. So shop online, get your entries. Oh.